Hi, I'm Guhar Vardanyan, and this is a lessonette for Strings by Mail. In this lessonette, I'm going to attempt to answer some of your questions on the right-hand thumb. So to begin, we have to make sure that we have a good right-hand position. For more details on that, you can check out some of the old lessonettes on right-hand positioning. But here, I'll just go through a um, very quick review. Make sure that you are not over-curved this way, and you're not completely perpendicular to the strings. Make sure you're not dropping your wrist too far that way or this way. Um, you're not collapsing it this way, and you're not too high up in the arch that way. All of these positions will make it uncomfortable for the thumb to play, and for the other fingers, but we're talking about the thumb here. So make sure you're in a mid-range of all of the directions that your wrist goes in. Once you have the right hand position properly um, figured out, then your thumb, you want to place it right ahead of the index finger, not too far out this way, because that's going to force your other fingers to be perpendicular to the strings. Your string, your your wrist should remain straight, and you're going to be plucking with the other fingers in the diagonal uh, from where your wrist is coming from. So don't disturb that, um, but keep the thumb right ahead of the index finger. So don't hide it underneath it or behind it, um, which will prevent you from being able to follow through with the index finger. Give enough space for the index finger to go back. And it's fine if, as you move, it touches the inside of your thumb. That's totally fine, as long as it's not in its way. And again, not too much out. Now, the angle of the thumb. I aim for about from the middle of the nail, or a little bit less, to the left side. So if you're looking at your hand this way, it's the middle of the nail to the edge on the outside here. That I found to be the most comfortable place where I can have a nice hand position for my other fingers, a nice sound with the other strings, and my thumb can get the nail and the flesh at the same time. The nail on my thumb is not very long. I don't like playing with long nails. I feel like it doesn't really allow me to get a full sound, and it really makes it difficult to play by stroke. So my thumbnail is probably shorter um, than, than most people would expect. Uh, but that allows me to position my thumb on the string, get the flesh and the nail at the same time, and get a really uh, full and powerful sound, powerful sound on the basses. Everyone's thumbs and nails are going to be different anatomically. Uh, your thumb might be growing from a little bit farther up or a little shorter. Um, for some people, this middle joint for the thumb is up this way. I personally don't even have the, the muscle to bend this joint myself. That's why I have to help with my left hand. But either way, you are capable of moving your thumb from here. And that's the one thing that people forget, that if the other fingers are playing from the knuckle joint in order to get that really powerful and full sound, for the thumb, the equivalent of the knuckle joint is right at the wrist here. So this is the joint we use to play with our thumb. It's not the tip joint, it's not really the middle joint somehow, but really the whole thing. And if you use this as a unit, you can have a really powerful sound without really getting any tension because it's a bigger muscle you're using. And that applies to free stroke and rest stroke. It also applies to um, the direction that your thumb will be going. You want to avoid pulling out with your thumb this way because then you're pulling out on the strings and that won't really allow you to play to get the most full sound out of the instrument. So the direction of the thumb is downwards. Um, if it's free stroke, you bypass the other string I'm still moving this way from this joint here and if I'm playing rest stroke I just rest on the other string. As I said most of the time I play rest stroke with my thumb unless I can't because there's counterpoint involved or it's just not the sound I want or really my index finger is in the way because it's playing something else at the same time. So uh, my default is rest stroke but of course I use free stroke as, as needed. Um, but I play downwards for either stroke, whether it's a free stroke or rest stroke. Now, in terms of the um, positioning laterally here on the, on the hand, make sure you position for the fourth string, really, for the thumb, and I'll tell you why. So, if you're gonna play the thumb on a sixth string and you bring your back, hand back to play on a sixth string, if you're just gonna play the sixth string alone, that's totally fine. You can do, you know, doesn't matter what hand position, and you, you'll be able to play it. But if you have to play with the other fingers, if you bring it too far back for the sixth string and you're higher up, then these fingers are going to be extended and you're not gonna be able to properly play inwards to get a good full sound. So I position my hand for 
the A to be on a first string, so it's a nice curve. Um, and then for the thumb, if I need to reach the sixth string, I just reach over by extending it from the um, from the wrist right there. So that also allows me to play easily down the strings and allowing gravity to help me. And that allows me to also play double strokes with no problem because I'm coming from underneath the string and I'm just closing my hand basically and my thumb touches as many strings as I need to whether it's triple or it's double. That's basically the triple is kind of like a long rest stroke. You just have to go through all of the strings. But for that to happen, you have to be able to reach the fourth string easily, which means that's why I position for it. And then I reach back and go down. If you reach too far up, and whenever you have to play double strokes, you're going to end up pushing with your whole wrist because you really have nowhere else to go there. If you're high up here, your thumb in a relaxed position is barely going to reach the fourth string so you're going to end up involving your wrist and that's something you want to avoid doing period in terms of whether you're playing a single string or doubles or, or triples you want to avoid utilizing your wrist anytime you play a bass because that's going to disturb the hand position you're going to move and so it's going to take away from the accuracy of the other fingers and it's just going to ruin the stability so you want to have, have your hand relaxed and stable and use your fingers from the biggest joint that you can find in the wrist to, to play the, the notes that you need. And that applies to whether it's treble. See, what I'm doing is, it's just my thumb, if I need to reach to the sixth string, I just reach. What I don't do is push with my wrist. So I think that's really the the most basics and because it's such an individual thing it's hard to explain everything and every variety that's out there. So just make sure your hand is in a good position, you're aiming the thumb to be straighter. Um, I think I mentioned if you have a bending thumb don't bend it backwards so that you are um, you're able to move from here and you're not really utilizing the tip joint and that way your thumb is not going to be pointing in the wrong direction. If your thumb is bent this way you're going to force to do this to your hand just to get the nail. So make sure it's straight um, and play downwards. Make sure you, you really feel that resistance from the string. Push it in and release it in a downward stroke. So I hope that helps you figure out the thumb a little bit better. And in subsequent videos, if there are more specific questions, I will try to make more specific videos on the topic. Thank you so much for watching.